Hi, welcome back to Ponder Eyes. Today we will go over study questions for Divine Love and the Father's Plan by President Oaks. Now you can use these study questions to ponder personally, you could go over them with your family, or you could use them to teach a class. And feel free to pause as we go along if you need time to ponder. Now let's get into it. For question number one, the quote is, We have a unique understanding of our Heavenly Father's plan. This gives us a different way of viewing the purpose of mortal life, the divine judgment that follows it, and the ultimate glorious destiny of all of God's children. How does our understanding of life differ from what other people understand? How has understanding God's plan helped you? To love God and to love our neighbors are the first of God's great commandments. Those commands are first because they invite us to grow spiritually by seeking to imitate God's love for us. The question is, how has loving others helped you to grow? To help us develop the godly attributes and the change in nature necessary to realize our divine potential, the Lord has revealed doctrine and established commandments based on eternal law. Why do we need the doctrine and commandments? How have they helped you progress? The covenants made and the blessings promised to the faithful and the temples of God are the key. How have temples blessed your life? What blessings would enter your life if you increased your temple attendance? Eternal doctrine also provides a distinctive perspective on children. How does eternal doctrine change the way you look at having children? Fundamental to us is God's revelation that exaltation can be attained only through faithfulness to the covenants of an eternal marriage between a man and a woman. Why do you think marriage between a man and a woman is part of exaltation? Why do you think single people can't be exalted alone? That divine doctrine is why we teach that gender is an essential characteristic of individual pre-mortal, mortal, and eternal identity and purpose. Do you have a testimony of this statement? How, how have you come to know that it's true? Satan's most strenuous opposition is directed at whatever is most important to that plan. Consequently, he seeks to oppose progress toward exaltation by distorting marriage, discouraging childbearing, or confusing gender. What can you change in your home and your life that will protect you and your family from Satan's attacks? A uniquely valuable teaching to help us prepare for eternal life, the greatest of all the gifts of God, is the 1995 Proclamation on the Family. How has the Family Proclamation helped you? What can you learn and apply from the Proclamation? The pure doctrine of Christ is powerful. It changes the life of everyone who understands it and seeks to implement it in his or her life. What part of the doctrine do you need to understand better? How will that bless your life? All right, thanks for following along. We hope you're able to get a lot out of that. Have a great week.